So welcome back to Talk Tours, and we have another special episode because I've I don't think I've ever been to Daly City. Yeah, we're going to the Philippines in the Bay Area, Daly City. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> the first Goldilocks and Jollibee in the Bay Area was really. Oh yeah, because I tell you, it's basically <laughs> Philippines. Oh wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, so we got some uh, some spots to hit up. I hope you guys had a good Halloween. If you guys didn't see, they dressed up as Pennywise. So I'll put a link so you can check oh, it out. Oh, yeah, that was good. It looks yeah, good. Yeah, looked pretty good. Yeah. Scared a few folks. Yeah. <laughs> and um, other than that, I'm pretty hungry today. <laughs> I'm always pretty hungry. You know? I when know. I know I'm gonna have tacos, I, uh, yeah, I, I get know. Them. I know, I know. But maybe after like the second stop, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm over it. it. <laughs> yeah, usually that's how we feel. Like after eating so many tacos, we're like, ah, I don't know if we're gonna eat again. And then comes to shooting again. Let's like, eat. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's eat up. <laughs> yep. So let's see what we get into. Woo! <laughs> So we're at the first location at El Taconazo. Right? El Taconazo. Taconazo. I'm to say El Taconazo. It, it, it reminds me of uh, El, El Tucanazo. Uh, yeah. Vale me of con el tuca. Vale reminds me of Reza Ramon. Uh, Reza Ramon. You, know, you don't know Reza Ramon? Mm. Uh, you're not a WWF guy. No, yeah, no. Reza Ramon. I never, I never yeah. got into that, bro. El Taconazo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's my favorite wrestler. Yeah, I'm person. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, the best punch. You know, you talk about boom, boom, boom. The best finishing move, that razor's edge. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. There you go. So we got these uh, amazing looking and shrimp. Meat it right there. Tacos dorados, basically fried shrimp tacos. And yeah, it looks really good. It's basically just shrimp with like some kind of uh, seafood mixture, I believe, on top. Yeah. At first, I thought that was consomme, but it doesn't really doesn't look. Like consomme, it looks like some sort of yeah, yeah. You, know, you think of like some sort of seafood salsa sauce, something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, some kind of salsa and basically just the fried shrimp inside with the avocado on top. Yeah, and uh -huh. some lime. Oh yeah. yeah, they gave us plenty of lime. Yeah, they gave us extra lime. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> five stars on lime, just some lime. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go for it. Dude. All right. How do we do this? <laughs> Well, you got your Cook lime right there. Uh, and we also had green and red sauce. You want to show them? Oh, you know what? I remember now. Wasn't that um? Remember? Is this San Mateo? I think so. From that or from San, that truck, I right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone when I had the hiccups. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting another lime. Yeah, you know. Alrighty, bottoms up. Put a little lime on it. Limoncito, a little bit. Okay. Thumbs up. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Oh. That's nice. I'm gonna get a bite with some of that. Whatever this uh, sauce is on mm -hmm. top. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder what it has inside. Damn, whatever this is, oh. it's fucking good. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it tastes the tomatoes, the peppers, mm. the chili, the shrimp, and I don't know, maybe like some some kind of flour or something to thicken it up, like the mixture inside. I know, that tastes good. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> you have to describe it. <laughs> Damn, this thing is so... Yeah, I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a chef, so I, like, I, I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, I guess a fork would have been a good idea. Oh, my gosh. I'm just getting the juice. But this place reminds me of a place I want to go in LA, actually. Yeah. That they look like this. They have this kind of like red sauce or something. Uh -huh. Um, forget the name, but I'll put I'll put a picture 
It looks just like it, and apparently they're like they won a lot of awards for like these kind of shrimp tacos. Mm. Yeah, whatever mm. this is, it makes the difference. Mm -hmm. Without it, it's good. Mm -hmm. But with it, mm -hmm. oh man, it's fantastic. Well, even last time, remember when we had these? They only had avocado. And I feel they like they didn't it, have any sort yeah. of sauce or anything. That's why I remember last time I didn't really think too much of well, it. Well, they have sauce, but it wasn't like this. It wasn't like, like this. It wasn't yeah. on top or anything. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Yeah, huge Man. difference. Man, this one is big. Holy moly. So this one they call, call it El Taconazo. So it's probably like their supreme, super, above super taco. It's like reigning supreme. Like, huh, 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 huh. Right? like I said, the razor Ramon, mm -hmm. the razor's edge. So well, it's supposed to be like a taco that's that has like cheese on top and it has like a fried tortilla or something. He said, and it, man, it looks like a Mexican flag to be honest. <laughs> it has a green, red, and everything, and the white. Yeah, I can see that. There's a cheese right yeah. there. There's two different. This almost looks like there's two different types of yeah, tortillas. Yeah, he, he said right? that one of them was fried. I think. Ah, that's why they're yeah. different coloring. Okay. Yeah, and one other one's regular. And this one, he's got tomatoes. I don't see too often. No, I yeah. haven't anyway. Yeah, because this is more like it looks more like a salsa, right? Yeah, like a regular salsa. He's that's... already got some like avocado, some guac. In there. Guac, yeah. Sour cream, which you're not really a big. Not fan a big of. fan, but hey, you can try it. it. Can't change my mind in a moment. And this is al pastor, by the way, so you guys know. All right, damn. Damn, this thing is huge. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can fit into my small Asian mouth. Oh my God. Small but full lips. Oh, it's falling apart. Yeah, oh, no, that's hard to eat. There we go. Mmm. Wow. God damn, I'll talk on also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I think I'm in love. Mm. Mm. I don't know. To be for me it's not Oh you know what? Wait, no, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> There's actually happened? some the flavors are coming together. I think with those beans, it's just a flavor explosion. I forget that there's beans in here <clears throat> and with the cheese and the, the crispiness of the tortilla. We have to try the salsa too, bro. <laughs> Dude, I love it the way it is. Oh no, I love it too. It's getting there, but let me get the green one and try the green one. To me, damn, this thing is almost perfect. Mm -hmm. There's a good amount of cheese in there and that one layer of the fried tortilla. Mm -hmm. And it gives you that little extra crunch. Mm -hmm. I guess the only, if I had to say something negative about it is, honestly, it's almost too big. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's kind of difficult to eat and fit in your mouth. Ladies, there's a lesson there. Sometimes big can be too big, you know, sometimes <laughs> smaller is better. <laughs> no, but this is definitely, you know, Wow. this is not a first date <laughs> meal. You're gonna get messy, but man, is it delicious. Yeah. Mm. Alright, time to live on the wild side. Uh -huh. Put some sauce on this bad boy. Mm. Alright, take it back. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> That's said, man. Okay, one thing, my my recommendation or how you would make this better for me is that I think the soft tortilla should be in the inside. Because ah, it's breaking too, it's breaking too easily. Yeah, good you know? point. Good point. Because mm -hmm. that way, if you're if you're grabbing it, you're grabbing the the one that's you know has been grilled or whatever. Yeah. You know whatever. So it's not breaking apart. But I would say. Oh, look, I made a taco salad. <laughs> but here, you know, I like um I like the one in El Tucan where I felt there's too much cheese to me. This is just the right amount. Mm. Where really it's it basically it, it enhances or it's an, it's an accent in terms of flavor. It's not dominating. Mm -hmm. no, I actually don't mind uh, the sour cream too much on this one because I'm not a big sour cream guy. But I probably still prefer no sour cream if I were to order this. 
at least for myself. But this is definitely something you would want to have at least some forks to go with. Because I don't think no one could eat it that clean. No. Not Mr. Clean over here, right? Uh -huh. Look how messy I'm getting. <laughs> I know. Well, you know what? Um, I think because you know, they really didn't put too much sour cream on it. You know? They didn't overload mm -hmm. it, not like a burrito. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why you're digging it this time around. Mm -hmm. There's really not that much on there. It's, I think that, you know, that's a good sign. They understand that, you know, everything has to come in balance. You know, you don't want to just put a bunch of everything. Mm -hmm. That's fire though, for sure. Approved. Wow. Those two things were really good on your spot. Yeah, this is going to be a tough act to follow. <laughs> hey, we're always happy though when we get a, a home run for the video. <laughs> I think my first initial reaction was that I don't taste anything but like just the meat and like the sour cream or something. Mm. And I was just like, ah. But then as I kept chewing on the, the beans and yeah, everything stopped mixing yeah. in, I was like, ah, okay. Mm. I get it now. <laughs> I see the light. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is amazing. Oh, man. I mean, both tacos are home run for me, honestly. <laughs> but good job. Hit the next spot. Dos at Los Metates out here in Daly City. We're doing damage. Yeah, well, are yeah, we? Definitely doing damage to my body. That's <laughs> <for sure. laughs> hey, come on, this is good damage. Oh my lord, it's gonna be hard to follow up on Taconazo. Oh man, it's that yeah. hard to follow. Taconazo, you definitely put the bar real high right now. Yeah, so, so Los Metates, we'll Los, Ma Ma Los Metates, Los Metates. We should so try. What's, what's we should start now? a new thing now. Like we should try to say it like different now. Yeah, with an American accent. The American accent. So, so the, taco nazo. The, the taco nazo. We're at the taco nazo. <laughs> and we went to taco nazo, and now we're at the matetis. So what is matates anyway? I feel like is I have... related to matetis. No, <laughs> I don't know. It's not related to that. <laughs> <They're> way off. <laughs> That's, that's on your uh, your brain took a, a right there. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so what do we got here, Sammy boy? We got carnitas and al pastor. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they're going strong with the cebolla. Yeah, cebolla. Uh, they're coming strong with the onions. <laughs> Cilantro. I'm not really a big fan of onions, so we'll see how oh, I, I love I love me some onions. It. And uh, double whoa, yellow corn? Is it double? I don't know if it's yellow or white. I don't know if it's double, dude. Yeah, yeah it is double. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's white to I me. I can't really tell. Yeah, I can't really tell if it's white no. or yellow. Uh, I say let's uh, do the carnitas first because we it. just had that big ass al pastor. Okay. Good. They added some limoncito. Good job. And it has like a red salsita. What's the difference between salsita and salsa? Salsita is just a fun way to say salsa. Yeah, it's, just... it's like saying sauce instead of sauce. I guess. Mm. Or saucy, kind of saying like yeah. saucy. Yeah. I like sauce. Sauce from the deep south. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Bottoms up. Vamos. I don't really get the salsa. It's a solid taco. The carnitas are okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, it's it's just okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mind's not being blown. Mm -mm. But like I said, man, that El Taco Naza, it's just so hard to follow that. It's definitely a, a, another level for mm -hmm. sure. One thing I was gonna I was gonna mention is that I wonder if there's a place that could beat a handmade tortilla that's that good that I could beat it. But you know? it's not a handmade tortilla. Ooh, it's tough to imagine. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying because obviously the quality of the ingredients and the mm -hmm. preparation and everything, right? Mm -hmm. That's gonna matter. So I wonder if there is such a place like that. These are, these are loaded too, huh? No. Oh. I mean, right away, the good thing about this is they're not stingy with the meat. Mm -mm. It's loaded with meat. Mm -hmm. Tortillas are not falling apart. Mm -hmm. Now back to your point, I think. 
if a place cares enough about like high quality ingredients, they're probably going to be making handmade tortillas then, right? If they have that kind of mindset. Yeah, I guess so. Damn, you killed it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's mouth's like a black hole for tacos. <laughs> well, my, my mom would say, you're like a trash can. <laughs> I just keep throwing, keep throwing food at you. Garbage disposal. I just keep throwing food at you and just disappear it. Make it disappear. <laughs> I'm like, yes, mom. Very nice. Yeah, what lovely words to hear from your mother, huh? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good. Not amazing, but hey, not everybody could be amazing, right? If not, there wouldn't be amazing places and okay places. Yeah. I'll go first. Go for it. <laughs> I like it. It's it's that flavor that you don't like. Ah. Yeah, that, but I I love it. The cinnamon kind of flavor. Mhm. Mm it has it's loaded with meat, juicy, tender. It has everything you want. I think it's a great taco. It's just better than the carnitas. Uh, I think so. Yeah, for me at least. Well, I'm gonna try it now, so now we're gonna know the truth. <laughs> oh, wow. And I like that it has a good balance of not too saucy and not too dry, like on the char, mm. char level. It's funny so far, um, just, there seems to be a standard size for tacos here in Dale City, because this is about the same big, size. Big yeah. ass tacos. I guess them Filipinos like big tacos. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good, good stuff. I sure I like it. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't have quite as much as the cinnamon flavor as you. Really? Oh. I think because I, I, they do a good job of getting that um charred, mm. like flavor and texture to it. So it balances it. It balances it out. You know? mm. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, the oh, al pastor is definitely better than the carnitas. Mm -hmm. But this is a solid spot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's definitely a place I would not hesitate to go again. Mm. Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you know when you once you get tired of uh, having a taco nas all the time. Like, yeah, for a change. There you go. Yeah, let's go to Second Matatis. spot. Yeah, side piece. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Hit there up you your side. Yeah. Hit up your side piece. Yeah, so Los Matatis to be my side. That's piece. that's what we're promoting, guys. Yeah. Side pieces. <laughs> taco nas is my main. <laughs> yeah. So you're cheating on your yeah. main then. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I don't think I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> Hey, we still bro. got one more spot. I, I don't think okay, you don't have to. Yeah. But I will take one more bite because it just, is very good. You'll just look like the weak link. It's okay. Oh. Actually, you know what? I am going to finish it. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. It's too good not to finish. <laughs> right? Oh. Right when it's made, bro. You can't, yeah, it's too can't good say not no. To oh, someone commented on the video saying that there's a lot of places that cook their... Because I... I think it was the last one they were talking about how we should talk. oh you have to go in the morning and, and someone was that like, someone said that actually there's restaurants that that cook to order mm. like re they cook everything fresh and obviously some that don't i mean that sounds pretty logical right but not everybody's gonna do it freshly like some of them have it kind of pre-cooked or something and they just kind of warm it up so that's the thing it's kind of knowing like where to find the spots you know, that's the thing you need to kind of understand. I would say if you're one of those spots that cooks everything to order, make it very obvious and make it very well known that you do that. Like say it, say everything that we cook it to uh, order or something? Yeah, because it's a huge difference, mm. you know, when you're getting something fresh. All right. All right. Next spot. Let's see if we can make it. <laughs> All right. So doing a little behind the scenes. Uh, Got to go for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, cool. uh, so there's times where we eat these huge ass tacos and like they were just damn near stuff and then the proximity between locations are really close so it's like we need a and <laughs> we need some time to digest yeah, remember, that stuff you just probably get up and get a full meal basically, <laughs> basically. <laughs> three spots yeah, exactly <laughs> and it's funny every time like people ask me about these videos like 
Damn, how do you guys eat all these different tacos? <laughs> you know, what should you guys eat? Well, you gotta be a, a, a pretty, you have to have a pretty good storage you gotta container. Be pro. Yeah, exactly. Pro taco eater. So we're going up this uh, hill, which is good. Good for us. Put some vitamin so, D. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll continue right after this. This is our view from our walk. It's pretty cool. You can see like all the other houses. Mike doing his thing. Go ahead. How do you film? How do you film? Uh, no, dude, dude, how are you filming yeah, right sure. now? <laughs> so this is how he does his uh, B roll. Stretches out his arms. There's a third location. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be finishing this, folks. I might, I might just be doing one bite of each. <laughs> one bite, Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're at Los Cuatas Taqueria. And we got... Hey, you know what these remind me of? The Half Moon Bay Tacos. Remember I don't they had these, remember what those were. Yeah, they had these more. big slices of onions. Of onions yeah, yeah, they're just chilling there. So. Los Cuates. I like the names of the taquerias here yeah. in the yeah. city. Los cuates, Los cuates, metates, metates, taconazo, 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 taconazo eh? Yeah, they're really, really fun to say. <laughs> so, so we got asada and al pastor. And double white corn tortilla. Hey, this salsa looks just similar to the last one, huh? The red salsa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks really similar. I mean, the, the, the red ones tend to look... Well, I mean, that's not true. Sometimes they're a little bit more um, mm, yeah. on the watery side, not in terms of flavor, but consistency. Mm -hmm. Take that Ooh, nice and juicy lime. That's there good. Go. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That was a good sign. Still solid because we haven't eaten asada. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, fun. it's the first asada today. Huh? I love me some grilled onions. Mm. Me, I can pass on the onions. Mm. I'm a big onions guy. Mm. I'll eat them if they're there and I can't take them off, but if I can take them off, I will. Love it. Well, you mean these things are really hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how I like it. Yeah, like really hot. This is probably the hottest one we've had. <laughs> That's good. All right, here we go. Oh. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like the, the beef's a little overcooked. Mm -hmm. A little bit too chewy. It needs flavor too. Yeah. The beef. I guess that woman's going to be commenting on the video now. The most estamos viendo la lo que nosotros pensamos. We're only saying what we think. It's, it's just okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely, um, this would be like a 6 out of 10. <laughs> what? Well, we also a 3 out of 5. <laughs> We also got this orange, I mean, orange, green. <laughs> green I'm gonna try putting the bean on it. Yeah. Just to see if it does anything. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit of red. So let's try this. So I guess I'll in. take two bites from each, one with and <laughs> without salsa. Sure. sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's one's, really uh, liquidy. Yeah, this one's liquidy. This one's like the, the smoothies. Yeah. All right. I'm going some. Looks, my, brain, my brain is already winding down. <laughs> so <laughs> stuff. <laughs> added some, added some cebollas too. Hmm. Yeah, it's just okay. Yeah, it's okay. What do you think of the the salsa? Adds anything? Not really. Adds like a little bit of tang to it, but yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just okay. Yeah. Asada. All right. So now let's try our pastor. Oh. <laughs> This one looks really, really saucy. <laughs> that was the pastor. <laughs> the pastor of tacos. <laughs> Pretty good. It's actually similar to the second spot, I think. Well. Huh. Pretty similar. Yeah, the al pastor is definitely better than 
Yeah. The asada. Oh, definitely. Mm. Hands down for sure. A lot more flavor, good char. Not too dry, not too juicy. Pretty good balance. I think the tortillas are a little bit on the rough side. For really? me? No. And that one in particular. A little bit of soggy on mine. <laughs> I mean, it's soggy, but there was like a rough, the edges were rough. Mm. Like, you mean toasted rough? Or no, no, oh. I mean, I was in like cheap rough. Mm. Yeah, mm, that's decent. Mm -hmm. Is it two different types of tortillas, or is it just because the meat's coloring the first layer? Oh yeah, the meat's just covering, coloring the first layer. Yeah. See, so if I'm going to put a salsa, what kind of, should I go with red or green? Try red. Presto. Presto. Check it out. Nada. There you go. He's a pig, folks. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> I think they already knew that with you down in the consomme and everything. Rick and Puerco. <laughs> oh man. While you do that, I'm gonna go to verdict. Go for it. <laughs> Very spot. I think we all know this one. <laughs> Very spot. I'm gonna have to give it to Taquanazo. They have it all. They have the creativity, great customer service, actually even the location because it's a lot more accessible, I think, than the other ones. And actually this one too, the last one. But anyways, the first one is definitely my, my pick and favorite taco. You know what? I'm going to have to give it to the taco de camarón. That one was special. It had that sauce that just kind of broke it just a little bit more so it's not overly crunchy i think and it gave it a really nice nice flavor that <laughs> tomatoey like spicy cabbagey sauce and the shrimp was just perfect the flavor was really good i think that one for me was home run special what you think mike Oh, may I put your garbage away, master? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, may I? <laughs> That's all good. That's actually what I do here. So. Um, Kiss my feet, you peasant. I think this is the first time where you and, got, you and I are in full agreement. Really? Yeah, in terms of top spot and favorite taco. Mm. So basically ditto that. I mean, everything said about uh, El Taco Nazo, and it's just the most fun to say as well. <laughs> Taco Nazo. Like Reza Ramon. Bailemos con el Taco. Hey, yo. Bailemos con el Nazo. For those WWF fans out taco, there. Taco, 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 Taco Nazo. Uh, and the, yeah, the, the, <laughs> and the, the shrimp taco. Man, that whatever that sauce was, whatever that is, man, they just put that thing over the top. I was... It's so unique too. Huh? We haven't seen anything like that. We haven't yet. Yeah, that's awesome. We've seen that fried shrimp taco before, but that sauce just knocks it out of the ballpark. That's my favorite taco today. Amazing. Like I would absolutely go back to El Taco Nazo. Yeah, so cool. there you go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I do think, um, what's it called? Uh, Los Metates, the Al Pastor was really was mm, good there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just no comparison between yeah. El Taco Nazo and Los Matates. Mm. El Taco Nazo was that good. Even their Al Pastor blew me away. It's funny too because they're, he said the specialty is seafood. Mm. So, I mean, I think that's why the Taco de Camarón was really good too. Uh -huh. So, once again, thank y'all for watching. Comment below what you think of this episode. If you have any places you recommend we're gonna hit up san francisco real soon so that's gonna be a tough one because we all know it's filled with great great places can't wait for that one now it's gonna be special too i'm sure and like this... you're gonna see it was a tough one because it's filled with homeless people oh man no. <laughs> 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 this is gonna um, be rough yeah i'm actually surprised how good this the city was yeah me I too i don't know i don't know what to expect to be honest yeah because it's a filipino town so i wasn't really expecting there's gonna be good taco spots yeah but when you know this filipinos like tacos too <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was that was dope so with that we conclude this episode don't <sighs> forget to follow our stomachs i envy the eats and 
Mike Laguna and check out Mike and Chris on this. Mike and Chris on Maybe this. Maybe Sammy Boy will be kind enough to put a link in the description. <laughs> oh. Or you just put up a card I, right here. I have here. a card. Yeah. yeah, pop up a card right added, here. Added a card yeah. already. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, perfect. You didn't, didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're going to go home and sleep our yeah, asses yeah. off or something. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.